What's up YouTube? It's Ollie The Rock coming to you with some more reaction videos. And on my last video that I posted, you guys made a lot of comments about the different versions between uh, Floor and Annette. And I will do my very best to look at the uh, studio version of Annette because I'm always, I always listen to you guys' comment. And uh, let me give you a couple of the comments that were mentioned. Um, that I think, again, not being judgmental because I, that's not my character. That's not who I am. Um, I listen to the music and I love the quality. Um, everybody has their preference. Some have Flora, some have Annette. Just like Tanja and Flora and Annette, everybody has different uh, viewpoints. Some are more in love with one singer than the other. Um, I'm currently searching all the all the different um, evolution of uh, of uh, Nightwish. So I'm not stuck to any one performance. I listen to the music and I really want to understand where they came from, what the music is about. The fact that I did not know that this song was really written for um, uh, for Annette when she sang it, so it makes a little bit of a difference when you listen to it. So I will get to it, I promise you, that's on my list. But again, this is, again, you guys have commented, but let me give you one of the comments um, that was mentioned. It says that I love Floor to death, but this is a net song. You must watch their official music video for this song. It has over a hundred million views, and you'll see why. And since you're at it, check out Bye Bye Beautiful as well. So that's one of the comments that I got from one of um, a person that actually commented. I will do that. Uh, I may even do this after this video here. But right now, we are going to get into. A requested song that was done just uh, not so long ago. Well, it's been requested many times, but um, it's finally come up on the list that I have. And this is She Is My Sin. Uh, and that's also from The Wacken 2013. Because you guys know how I feel about The Wacken 2013. Um, believe it or not, I have printed the lyrics to this song. Um, this is a pretty uh, intense song from what I understand. And the lyrics will help me. I didn't want to put them on the screen. Um, I actually been reading them. I do that to every song because I want to understand the lyrics. So that's why a lot of times I don't comment about the lyrics because I know what they're saying and you guys have already seen it. Unless there's something that really impacts me and I need to share it with you guys. There's a couple of things on this song that also I've noticed is um, kind of an intense line. Especially when you first start out. The very first one that I can tell you right now that I saw in the lyric is, that really caught my eye. It says, dressed as one, uh, one a wolf will betray a lamb. Led astray the gazers, the razors on your seducing, seducing skin. In the meadows of his sinful thoughts, every flower is a perfect one. The paradise with pleasure hunted, hunted by fear. A sin for him, desired within, desired within a burning veil. Those, that one, you know, Tomas is a definitely poet. All his lyrics that he has, definitely a poet. And I know this, This I see it more and more. There's an underlining of where this song is going. Kind of got an idea, but let's get into the song itself. Sorry it took so long, but I wanted to make sure I shared you guys some information. You know how I am about doing backgrounds. I don't just jump into a song. I like to get some information. And the lyrics on this is super, super awesome. So let's get into it. Headphones on. One, two, three.
my God. Okay, I'm pumped up now. Ah, that song is really upbeat and uplifting. Um, a lot of these songs that I've listened to, I've in my mind, I feel like I want to be there. I'm teleporting myself into the past, into that moment when they were singing the song. No technical things. I just want to enjoy the moment in that song. It's The lyrics itself are very powerful. Uh, there's an underlining uh, theme that is in that lyrics, and it's all part of the Imaginary Tour, how, what the background is. And if you listen to a lot of their music from Wacken, I do understand it now. Before I didn't, I didn't get it. I, I understood the each individual song, because as you put them all together collectively, the bigger picture comes to broad. And it's amazing the um, the mind of Tomas and what he put together for this presentation for this 2013. Especially with all the the craziness that was happening in 2012 for the mastermind to come up with this venue and to do what he did in this presentation is not only mind blowing, there is no words to describe that man when it comes to this, these kind of performances that he put together, regardless of who the songs were for, this is phenomenal of what he's doing and has done. Um, if you guys want a copy of the lyrics, I do have one. I can also post it on the link. Uh, it's kind of a... I'm glad I did the lyrics first on this one. Uh, typically, I print them off, but I actually went through and actually just read it a couple of times because I wanted to get familiar with the song. Um, like I always said, you got to put the hit information into the actual song. It's okay to get the beat and get the understanding of of the music part of it. You know, hey, this sounds great. It's a great rhythm. Like like the whole song as a whole. But if you don't understand the song, you really don't understand the the background of Nightwish. And you're not really a true fan. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, it's Ollie the Rock coming to you with some more Nightwish videos. And I will have some more coming up for you soon. If you want some more videos, there's some right there. And I will see you next time on Ollie the Rock.